everyone, it's me Ria from WeCreate. Welcome back to our online little hangout. Standing right next to me is Cyrus. He's responsible for creative and content. Welcome back, Cyrus. Thank you, Ria. Hi, everyone on YouTube and Facebook. Boy, are we extra excited to be here today. Keep your eyes peeled because we have a lot to talk about today. Yes, as our audience can see, the prototypes of our latest and greatest accessory is here, right before our eyes. Yes, it's what you've all been waiting for, our brand new automatic pass-through feeder. We've just expanded the size and scope of compatible materials by a hundred times. Well, I, I say a million times. I'd also say that makes your job really much, much tougher. Mm -hmm. And it's okay, I'm happy to accept the challenge. Okay. And now we're at uh, WeCreate, have been hearing a lot about how you want a larger working area to create bigger projects. Well, here it comes. Vision Super Special Automatic Pass-Through Conveyor. Yeah, so the first question you could be asking, how big is the working area, right? So the creative space is up to 126 inches and uh, by 14.9 inches. Mm -hmm. So Ria, we're gonna put up this dimension on yeah. the side, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so easy mount and use setup. Yes, and uh, what about the footprint dimension, Cyrus? The footprint dimension is approximately 126.9 inches by 31.5 inches. Yes, that's hard to say the numbers. And I wanna say that this path-through conveyor is revolutional. I've been learning about Lizard for some time now, but this one so far is the easiest one to set up. You basically just put um, put it on the base and connected a cable. That's it. And that's it. Right. Yeah, and the base only needs to be assembled with four screws, no more than five minutes. Right. Not only is the pricing really competitive, but what's more, between you and I, this conveyor base is compatible with most laser machines on the market. Well, so not only it compatible with Vision. Of course. And some of our future laser future. machines and also something else. And the riser itself can also be used as a riser base for other laser machines on the market. Yes, but shh. And okay, but most importantly, it aligns with WeCreate's vision, and which is professional features made incredibly user-friendly. User-friendly, yes. yes. And our automatic conveying system also allows you to engrave, cut on wooden Wood. boards, just like using a printer, and without the need for manual pushing of the materials. And I imagine a future where every household has a oh, laser machine, yeah. just like a printer right now. And because of its wide range of applications in our daily life, right. it can fulfill more personalized customization products or such as gifting, developing site businesses, right and expanding or supplementing your own businesses. Yeah. And now with this auto pass through conveyor, I mean, you can make, you know, bigger party banners, large toys, wall art, coat rack, kids growth chart, you know, furnitures and even screen dividers. Yeah, it's just that you imagine. Like, yeah. And our slogan, make laser easy to use for everyone, is not just a slogan, as you guys can see. It's what we are actively working on. And now let's just make something with our path-through conveyor and show the details to our yeah. viewer. Yes, and now I think um, I'll be engraved on WeCreate's new launch. Yeah. Yes. Fits the occasion. Yeah. Because like I know you guys want to know about libraries, so we just make it quick. <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind that this is still an early prototype, so we're also, we're we're still tweaking a lot of minor details and even like both for the hardware and the software. Yes. Okay. Now let's just turn it on. <laughs> so uh, you'll be using this conveying system, but still in our WeCreate vision and uh, make it software. So far, we're using this laser cylindrical, but later on, you will be using the. It, ha it will have a special mode for this conveying system. Yes, we are revamping the UI to make it, you know, compatible with the uh, conveyor. Mm -hmm. And there are some of the details we have to polish, but the version you guys will be received will be the final perfect one. Yes, mm -hmm. we're still tweaking on the minor details and you know, software and hardware stuff too. Yeah, we create new launch. And uh, choosing laser cylindrical. Okay, let me choose a font. 
So there's no disassembly or complex attachments required for this. All you need to do is to remove the crumb tray, set your laser cutter on the pass-through conveyor, and you're ready to go. Yeah. And uh, I think... Yeah, I think that's it. And let's just start. Uh, we have to put in the material, oh, right? Oh, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, here. Oh, Let continue. me do it. Okay. Um, oh, the uh, we'll be showing you guys the what you'll be receiving in the package later. But now let me just put the material inside. So, clock, clockwise this knob to lift up these uh, rollers, and then you can put the materials inside. And yeah. To make them to make sure that is level. So the top view is for the yeah. pressure. Mm -hmm. And then, then you counterclockwise it to put some pressure on it, board on the material, and then you can just twist the lower knob to see if the roller can carry and move the material. I think this moves good. You can decide uh, about the pressure, right? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because different materials require different of the pressure. I think this one is good. And uh, I'll be just leave some of the place inside for the leather head to focus. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be moving it to here and yeah. Let me see if it moves perfectly. Yeah, I think that's all. We can just start. And now I think we can just start. This is so exciting. I mean, yeah. we haven't had some new products or accessory for months. It really like the printer, you know, it works in and out. Yes. Like that. It's just a printer for printing on the woods board. Especially if you've uh, printed double-sided paper, mm -hmm. yeah. then it, you know, keeps you know going back and forth. Yeah, it's relieving seeing seeing that this magic happening. So this and is different from diode in that it's in invisible, right? The the light beam. Um, it's still we're still using our twenty one laser, but we'll be having more accessories. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, we're uh -huh. I'm so too confused. Much. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. And I turned off this autofocusing uh, thing, but you can uh, you'll be seeing this future in our new uh, version two point right. mm -hmm. We'll be having a live stream about it. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of spoiling things here. Right. And, yes. And again, you will experience the freedom of an expensive 126.9 uh, 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 inches plus 14.9 uh, inches of the canvas for you to engrave and cut longer materials with ease and efficiency, handling larger volumes in a single round. And auto, uh, our auto pass-through feeder doubles as a riser bed. Well, this is right. uh, awesome, you know, providing an additional 40 millimeters of the space. So accommodating materials from uh, one, one meeting meter. It's actually zero millimeters okay. because the paper right. are quite thin. Yeah. And she's to 180 millimeters blocks with ease. And you can also process with a uh, light burn, right? Yeah, sure. And uh, for a professional extension accessories, our path through conveyor has stable pressing wheels, uh, as we mentioned, as we showed you guys. And that means no wobbling during material movement. This is important, especially like when you're working with long pieces of materials. And, uh, oh, we uh, received some questions about it right. already. And, yes. Uh, yeah. We're going to so answer it, yeah. One of the questions that we got is uh, if it needs extra power source, well, um, as, as you as you saw earlier, you need to hook up a little cable from the uh, from the pass uh, from the conveyor to the to the fishing machine, yes. and that will feed the power for yes. that. 
And we're using this board quite small because we don't have a longer uh, table today. Right. So yeah. So it can actually support, well, 126 inches sounds long. It's actually uh, 3.2 meters, I think, right? Yes. And uh, shall we talk about what comes in the package? Yeah. Let me just uh, take this out and show you the, the outcome of it. Yeah. The cut, cutting this board could be taking a lot of time, so we're just engraving on it. We create new lunch. Yeah, yeah nice. That's it. Looks perfect. Yeah. Let's just uh, put it down. Okay. And uh, about the package, what, it, what comes with the package? All right. Um, with the pass-through kit, not only will you receive the unit itself, but also four guide rails, which, is, which you see right here, mm -hmm. a set of adjustable slab panels, which we uh, demonstrated earlier. It's actually quite flexible and you can place it you know, wherever you want. Yes. And you also get free aluminum panels to protect your uh, desktop uh, that you can place beneath the conveyor. Yes, and uh, these slab panels we mentioned are like, like this. And this one, this sharper one will be put upward. Yeah. And uh, this one, you can, for example, if you if want you to engrave that. or yeah. cutting, as we showed you guys before, like uh, low, uh, the less these uh, slab panels are and the engraving facts comes to the best because there's no marking or light, uh, charring right. of, of the material. Yeah. So, if you're so it's actually quite fun. Yeah. And customization <laughs> of your own. Yeah. Yes, and if you need more guide rails, like you, can, you, you are able to purchase more separate. Yes. Things. Yeah. And some people have also been asking to see how it works. Well, I must say even this product that you see today is not the final version. Uh, we've only got it two days ago, so we're still playing around with it. Um, yeah. yeah, so they're still refining it, the hardware as well as the software. So but by the time, before the time it ships, we'll post how-to videos of how it works and other details. Yeah, sure. And I think our users can't wait. Right. And I must say that's why Cyrus and I have been so busy yeah, recently. Yeah, very busy. Uh -huh. So um, is that all for today, Ria? Uh, no. Um, now here comes the second surprising news. Wow. By the time this live stream ends, you guys will be able to have direct control with Lightburn. Meaning r right now, today, like you'll be able to control Lightburn directly, yes, right? Yes, yeah. And yeah. So that's a really great news. I mean, um, you can connect di directly with Lightburn, which is a lot of Without people. Without G code as yeah. a bridge anymore. Right, yes. okay. Yeah. So there's a major request from our users. Mm -hmm. Many of our users are beginners, but also a lot of them are professionals. So, so we hear all your re requests and we'll do our best to fulfill them. Yes. And now this material is already put inside. Uh, let me show you guys uh, um, to how to use it and some other features that I want to remind you guys when you're using Lightburn. Okay. So, um, I have to... should we move this out of the way? Oh, yeah. And I think we, uh, I need assistant. Like, we need to put this down because our we handsome have camera new guy. projects to yeah. show up to our viewers. Okay. Okay, in the meantime, I'll be showing you the Lightburn compatibility. So, now let's just turn it on. Uh, you'll be getting, uh, you'll be downloading a file from our website when this live stream ends. And then you just uh, import the file and uh, you can see here the console tab. We create version, version number. This is 2.0, 19.005. This is the one you will be um, downloading. This is our newest version of our software. And uh, so first, I will be engraving. Uh, let me show you. Uh, now it's successfully connected, and uh, you can choose to. Uh, I'll be engraved on We Create New Launch, the same words here. Let me just type it in. We Create New. So now let's talk about the focusing. So there are two ways you can focus. The first way here, you can just use this focus. 
This is our autofocusing because um, autofocus is a great feature of our We Create Vision. We want you guys to use it even with light burn. So you can just select focus and it can measure the thickness of the material automatically. Um, it will, the default coordination is the center of the laser bed. Just click on the right button of your mouse of the focus and you will be seeing this coordination. And also you can change as your own. So that's okay. And the second one, you can choose the laser. You can choose the move tab and you can control the laser up and down or um, left or right here. But here's one thing I want to remind you guys, the distance here. We put in 97 because I'm using the three millimeters of the thickness of the plywood. So the, the number you should put in here in this blank, uh, in this uh, square like you have to minus the material thickness the original uh, the highest point of our laser head is one uh, to the laser bed is 100 millimeters so you have to minus the th material thickness so you should the, you, the laser head will be moving the distance of the 97 millimeters so this is something that I want to remind you guys and now it's out of focus already and uh, now we just uh, we have to put in the parameters here. I'm going to use 100, just engrave it. 100 of the power and speed for 250, just normal engraving power. And uh, now you can run the frame here. And for running the frame, here's one thing I want to remind you guys. Here, use the range window. Uh, there's a laser offset. We uh, the default is we use the red light for the laser um, focusing. So we already set this pointer of the sub offset parameters here, here, and uh, so. And I think we can just start to engrave. And uh, when it's done, you can just select start. And there's one thing. Uh, when it's engraving here. Uh, when you're using light burn like uh, with our rotary attachment, if you are uh, using our rotary attachment, here's the setting for the rotary. Choose the chuck type and uh, the A axis. This is the two things I want to remind you guys and that's okay. That's, that's all. Yeah. And there's also something I want to tell you guys when it's done, so yeah. I think you guys will be so excited to use, like you can finally enjoy our week revision like without boundaries. Yes, exactly. And uh, people have been asking us almost every week about this. So we are really happy to enable this feature. Yes, and not only um, have they been working on Liburn, our engineers, they, are, uh, they have been working on Liburn compatibility. Well, there is also some new accessories, but yeah. Yeah, and also a few new products, which we will review within a few weeks. Yeah, we can't say too much, but these are really exciting. We spoil too much, yeah. So, just one more reminder that in order to have direct control with Lightburn, you also need to do two things. Mm -hmm. First is update your Vision's firmware. You can do that by relaunching the Make It software or going into settings, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyway, se secondly, you also need to re-download the configuration file from our official website recreate.com. In the software section, you see a link to download the configuration file. It's right at the top of the page. Yes, and now the process is done. As you can see, it's different. When you're using WeCreate Make It software, it will come back to its original place. But when you're using Lightburn, it will not. Uh, okay. For that, you can just simply, here, let's come back to this dashboard. You can simply just cho choose this home button here, or uh, you can come to this range here, uh, uh, the G code. Click on the G code, and this is end G code. Uh, just type in G zero Z zero in front of M six, and then this is the instruction asked for our engineers, and then it, it will come back automatically, like when when you're using our Make It software. Just make it come back. Yeah, that's it. I've learned a lot for you guys. Yeah. I would say, yeah, Librarian is really professional. I understand why you guys wanted to enjoy using 
with uh, Lightburn. But yeah, we will keep working on our software too, just to stay tuned. Yeah. And I heard some um, discussing on the Facebook group that Vision software is becoming more and more like Lightburn. Well, we see it as a compliment. Yeah. Um, although Lightburn has this, you know, cost and learning curves, it's currently the most professional laser control software in the industry. So for us, for Recreate, we aim to make things very easy. That, yeah, I choose okay. this parameter a little bit too, uh, too low, but yeah, but we at, can do it. But at least we can demonstrate that it works directly, right? Yeah, it works So fine. we'll continue to improve our software to make it not only easy to use, but also more professional. Mm -hmm. Meeting the needs of uh, more sophisticated project creations. Yes, and remember that um, you have to restart the Mickey software to see the firmware update um, notification. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that's, I think that's all about that what we have, we have for this launch event today. And it's truly full of surprises. Yeah. And I've been holding on to these secrets for a long time. And today I can finally share these surprises with everyone. Yeah, and if, if you have any further suggestions for improvement, please don't hesitate to leave them in the chat box mm -hmm. or on our Facebook group, um, Recreate Official, right? Yes, and before our Kenya <coughs> session, let's just share some um, projects we made recently. Right. Don't forget, like, uh, Vision's uh, Resourceful Library is also a great feature for you guys. And yeah, I, I love our Resourceful Library. The, our designers are working day and night yes. to work on this. We're, we've been working on Mother's Day and a lot of the, um, you know, since it's uh, springtime and the weather's getting, you know, warm, so we're doing some, you know, home Outdoor, and garden, yeah. party, Mother's picnics. Day, yeah, picnics, mm -hmm. all that stuff. This is a chopping board and you will be, um, you can use, you can just click on this pattern and uh, print. Yes. And the settings are all defaulted. We choose the best setting for the materials right. that you use. This is for the board engraving, chopping board engraving, and uh, this is the notebook. The, just a small tag, but it's really gorgeous. We use our color wooden panels without any painting, and it's really smooth, the texture. I like it. There are two, and there are more of this. Yeah, you can also make one of your own, or if you're uh, send, sending gift to your friends, you can just uh, laser cut some of these symbols of your own. Yeah, all you need to do is to change the initials, right? Yeah. And here's some fun ones. Oh, it's a toast. I thought, oh yeah, it's really nice. These are it's coasters. Sweet. These are breakfast themed coasters. Yeah. It goes well with uh, breakfast. It's really hard to, to paint with uh, on, on this cork, but I think laser just made a great job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can change this um, effect, like whether you want it dark or lighter. And this one, oh wow, should we? This should, we should save it for last, but okay. since you can't wait, we can do that now. Okay. This is a very special like surprise. Yeah, it's let a... me let me pull the lid and then you can show the audience. Okay. okay? Happy All right. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, right? Okay. One, two, three. Wow. It's so, pretty much Jack in the box, yes. but well, full of gorgeous details. Now I must say that uh, our designers are really, you know, quite Genius. creative. Yeah. yeah. And I, as you can see. I don't know if you guys could see that we only use our color wooden panels. We didn't paint at all. Right. And there's the living hinge right here. Especially for the small pieces. I think these laser cut pieces are so nice. So this is actually a gift box. So you can put earrings or even necklaces. Small in gifts yeah. inside. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, wow. let's just put it there. And also oh. the engraving lines on our color wooden panels. Like, yeah, I know those you guys have nice. been asking them so much. Wow. It's, it makes a really, really, really nice Mother's Day, Mother's Day gift box. Yeah. And talking about Mother's Day, maybe mm -hmm. this. Wow. You are the piece that holds us together. Well, this is so sweet. Yeah. So you can just change your family's name down here mm -hmm. and then you can give this to your mom as a, you know, Mother's Day present. Yeah. I like that. And what about this? <laughs> I found this really funny. We should just make a whole set of it. We're, I think we're playing big cards. See, in my family, the queen is always bigger than the king. So. Oh wow! <laughs> but, I but, see that. But I think with the um, you know the conveyor, the auto pass through conveyor, 
you can make a mega version of this, yeah. like a big wall art with this, right? Mm -hmm. I, I like this one. Wow. And then this is one of my uh, personal requests because I know how to play chess. I'm not good at it, but here, pick up some pieces. I, can't, I don't know how to play. I know how to chess. play, but we, we can just briefly well, show. Well, there are two boxes yes. for each. Yes. So, I mean, there's all the chess pieces. And also, you can engrave on some faces, names, or the patterns that you like. You can yeah. make some personalization. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So, these are some of our... Inside. It's actually quite nice. You can well, even you use can, it for traveling. If you're a business owner, like you can just definitely sell this for a lot of money, I would right. say. Mm -hmm. So... And uh, this one? Yeah. I like this one because I thought they one like I thought they painted, but actually they they lasered. Yeah. On this black wooden board. So it's just uh, carved out. Yeah, right. it's really nice. You can just using our uh, conveyor um, feeder to make a larger version for if right. you own a shop, or put it on a in a garden or picnic, barbecue. Two days like special. For, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and this is a pat design here. Rocky. Rocky. And the small bowls here, you can put some bowls. Yep. Your pat here. Now, of course, you need to scale up if, if you own uh, an Alaskan Husky or something yeah. like that. This is more for, for uh, poodle or, uh, you know, chihuahua size. <laughs> yes, and also you can make um, different colors. We're using different of our color wooden panels. Yeah. To save you the hassle of painting all these boards. Well, there's just a lot of them. And not, on, not only that, we have more. So to be continued. And uh, if you guys have any preference or if you guys want to see more um, different types of the uh, projects, just don't forget to leave them in the chat box or uh, join our Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you want and we'll try to accommodate. Yeah. Just and one last look at this. It's really wow. nice. And now I think it's time to our Q&A session. I think you guys must be having a lot, a whole bunch of questions. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's start it. Okay. Now let's get right to the Q&A session. Um, yes, but before that, before that, we have a special surprise for our audience, right? Ooh, what's that, Cyrus? Well, we're gonna have a special offer for our live stream audience. Wow. What's the offer? Good acting, Ria. Uh, if you use the, if you use the coupon code, you you get an additional hundred fifty dollars off of our pre-sale offer right now. Well, that's applicable only to the first time purchase, and for any of our bundles that include um, the auto pass through conveyor, right? Right. Okay. Yes. Now this uh, this coupon is only limited to uh, hundred units or hundred purchases. And it's available on or before um, uh, uh, April sixteenth. And uh, but it's only the first time serve. First, first time, uh, first come, first serve. So it will probably run out before April sixteenth. And enough teasing, Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. What's the actual coupon code? Okay, the actual coupon code is Conveyor one fifty, which is Conveyor one five zero. Okay, you should uh, you should make your purchase right now. Uh, just a reminder that it's pre-sale, so it will be shipped in mid-May. Yeah. Yes. And now before I'll start uh, uh, Q&A, I think there's a lot of newcomers. Yeah, there's so many of them. But the questions, we have to address them. Um, no. the welcome. One, welcome yeah. to the WeCreate family. And the first one is that uh, you mentioned that the conveyor is compatible with most laser machines on the market. What do you mean by that? And is it compatible with my X-Tool D1? Well, first of all, it's compatible with Recreate Vision for sure, and many diode machines on the market today. It's a bit un unrealistic to make it work with every single brand out there because they're so different. So, but if you're really handy, you can make your own adapters to to sort of uh, feed the power and even control it. As for the D1, I can't really answer that directly, but um, yeah, my body <laughs> gestures is yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. Next question from Tony R. And what's the difference between basic and all-in-one kit I see on our website? Okay, so the basic kit comes with four guide rails, which we demonstrated earlier. And the all-in-one kit, it comes with eight more. So that means three guide rails, 
uh, on each side for both front and the back. So there's uh, 12. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there, there, there's 12 guide rails. So when spread out, um, there, the four guide rails, which is the basic pack, is going to be four, four feet long. Four feet long and uh, about 1.2 uh, meters uh, long. So the all-in-one kit, when spread out, is about 10.5 feet, which is uh, 3.2 meters long. So from head to toe. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have a uh, next question from Max. I've just ordered the vision, but I heard there is a delay in shipping. Well, first of all, thank you for your purchase. Yes, indeed, there's some problems with the shipping schedule right now, and we're trying to we're trying to actively working on that yes. and apologize for that. Yes, and next question from Sasha. Does the conveyor need extra power source? Yeah, we mentioned earlier that the answer is no need. There's actually a cable that comes out from the conveyor that you can hook directly into Vision. It's the same jack as the uh, rotary kit. Yes, and next question. Um, from junk journal. Junk, junk journal, yeah. yeah. Uh, will the bottom seal to keep films out? Um, yes, there will be a seal on the conveyor. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be like uh, you know tiny brushes to try to keep yeah, the films out. Yeah. Base, yeah. Yeah, but to ensure that the long materials can slide in and out, there will still be a little gap for for it to happen. So. Think about you know buying the film extractor <laughs> that and we offer. Don't forget to keep the you know venting ventilation out. That is really yes, important. That's important. Mm -hmm. Next question from uh, Junk Journal. So only engrave, no cutting ways path through. Well, it's only because of time constraints that we uh, demonstrated only, only engraving yeah, today, it can, right? It can. Yeah. So of course it can cut as well as engrave. So when we get a hold of the final version, we'll also demonstrate that right yes, away. Uh, and also in our software, we add uh, the breakpoints. So when you're using path through, you can just add breakpoints and the bits won't fall out. And I, I saw someone was asking <coughs> about the crumb tray. Yes, the crumb tray can be put on the beneath the base so yeah. you can hold the the beads that you cut when you're using conveying system but we also talked about um <laughs> early a little bit earlier we also talked about what uh, comes in the, the box of, yeah and we'll be including some um, so if you're uh, using some other brands of the laser cutters you can use this um laser how to say that uh the aluminum panel yeah uh, the aluminum panels yeah too. Mm -hmm. yeah so it comes with <clears throat> aluminum panels to, for you to lay it on the table yeah. beneath the the feeder. Yes, the, bo both crumb tray and the aluminum panel will work the same way. Yeah. Next question from Magic Manny. I hope they add the offset feature. Well, that's a good topic because mm -hmm. we're not only working on hardware and accessories, we're also working on software, <coughs> which is the 2.0, yes. version 2.0 of mm -hmm. uh, Make It software. There's going to be uh, some improvements in terms of the looks and functions, and also uh, we're adding offset. In 2.0, and when will it come out? Well, we're still, you know, it's in our internal uh, beta phase. Yeah, but I got it 2.0 right already, and I'm yeah. testing it. I yeah. love it. <laughs> She's one of the professional testers, um, and uh, it's going to be released earliest within a week, but latest within two weeks, I think. Yeah. So let's fingers crossed for uh, one week. Yeah. Okay. And I mentioned our 3D preview about our newest ver. Uh, details right right and I tried it it's amazing so yeah to yeah. to talk about that a little bit uh, Here, that one. it's basically okay it's basically a 3d preview feature mm -hmm. of our cylindrical laser cylindrical engraving so there's going to be a very rough uh, cylindrical shaped uh, preview that you can see like if you have a long line of text or copy yeah. then uh, when you stick it on there, you can see how it wraps around. So it's it's quite intuitive. Yes. But right now, like for this version, we can only do like a straight up, you know, a s flat uh, cylindrical. Yeah. Yeah. But you will be if you're using really complicated patterns. This one is really a game changer, I would say. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're aiming to do 1080 or even more. Yeah. You know. Sure. Next question from Eddie the Game. Will Lightburn support camera? <coughs> um, unfortunately, yeah. the answer is no. Uh, due to some data protocol, Lightburn use is different from our, uh, our Lightburn is different from our camera's internal, you know, protocol. So right now you cannot, unfortunately, we apologize, we cannot use the camera when connecting via Lightburn. 
we'll make it happen in our next generation of products. Yes, but we make sure that you can use autofocus with Lightburn. Yeah, autofocus will work fine. Yes, and uh, so that's all. Anything else? Anything else? Let me see. Do you, is there any other things you want to address? Are you bringing out a CO2? Uh, uh, this one is still with revision. Twenty-one dollar laser is not CO2, right? Not at the moment. Uh -huh. Not in the near future. Yeah. Not in the near future. But I think um, we uh, can just, let's not, have, yeah, just yeah. expect something. For There's going to be something new in the near future, but it's not CO2. Uh, will you be also adding merge text for cutting? Sure, yes, we already have the merge function and uh, yes. What you're worrying about is like uh, when you're using conveyor feeder, like if you're cutting uh, a long board or a slogan or something like that. Yes, right. this function will be in our 2.0. To yeah, when you guys mention something, some software improvements, some feature improvements, we'll always consider that, whether it's in our live stream comment section yeah. or on our Facebook group. And will you be start shipping to Sweden and other countries? Um, I think Europe is on our agenda. Yeah. But as you know, Europe is a very difficult uh, continent. Uh, like each country, ha each each country has its own rules and regulations and oh. restrictions. So mm -hmm. uh, we're negotiating. Yes. But. Uh, not very, very, not very, very soon. Sammy, Sammy, I heard you. Like, uh, Sammy had another question. Like, could you add a text centering function to the text tool? Yes, we have that in our 2.0. Yeah, newest lit version. Uh, curve text feature. We already have a curve text feature. If you are using our soft, uh, make it software. Like, if you want to see more, like maybe I will just do some texting, editing in our last live stream. Yeah, sure, I'll be adding to that. Um, if I want to engrave or cut without the conveyor, do I need to remove it? Actually, I think the conveyor can be used as a riser base yes, too. So yeah, exactly. it works. Mm -hmm. It works. So it can be used like a conveyor system, but also a riser base. Let me, let, let, let's talk about that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think the reason that the engineers designed a flexible slab panel yeah. is because of that. Like mm -hmm. you can put things beneath it. Let's say you have a column beneath it. You can just, you know, sort of uh, put fission right on top of it and take out the slab panel so it does can, so it can engrave on that. Yes. And uh, yeah, I think that our viewers ask a really great question. What's the best way to share features feedback? I think there are some ways. The first one that you can add a support at weekly.com. Remember that's weekly without E. Without the E, yeah. without the last E. Mm -hmm. And the second one is you can join our Facebook official Facebook user group. Like we have our um, uh, uh, team members, we're collecting feedbacks, a lot of that information inside the group. And also, yeah, this one, this section, the QA session would be a great um, place too. Yeah. yeah. We'll always read all your messages mm -hmm. and your love letters. Could the code be used for just the conveyor? I already have the WeCreate machine. Someone was asking about it. Oh, the code. just a conveyor. Uh, actually, let me, we, we need to check. Mm -hmm. Maximum thickness for a conveyor. You mean the thickness for the materials or the conveyor? The conveyor is 40 millimeters tall, I remember. Eh? How, how long is the conveyor system? How um, high was um, the height? I, I forgot, sorry. Okay. But uh, there will be details inside the links. I'll be, uh, I'll be putting the links down but below. But as, as for the thickness of materials, it's eight millimeter right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to raise that. As, as I said, we're, it's not minor yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, will, will be there any option for different watt laser? Uh, I, I think my body gesture, again, tells the answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, could you use a font to go, t go to right to left? That's, I think that, that's definitely, that is something that we should consider. Mm -hmm. Like Arabic, you know, even Chinese, you know, sometimes yeah. the font can go from right to left. I think that's an important feature, to be honest. Yeah. And can the project on the weekly software be saved as SVG? I don't. Um, I'm not sure. I think this one is not. It's not only WeCreate. Some mm. other laser, like, yeah, they, they have the same problem too. Right. But yeah. 
I yeah. What size desktop should I purchase so the Vision conveyor will fit on it? I think uh, earlier we put up we put up a, uh, a chart of the footprint. Yeah. So I think the maximum, the maximum size, if you were to buy the all-in-one kit, is 3.2 meters or 10.6 feet long. Long, okay? So yeah, that's about it. And if you're just putting one in front and one behind, actually it's testing my uh, memory, but it's 1.2 meter uh, long, I think. Yes, and I remember someone was asking like um, they they hope to have more projects that will fit conveyor feeder. Yeah, yeah sure, we'll definitely work on that. And there will be tons of gorgeous um, lawn projects, big projects yes. that work with conveying systems. We're working on that, but like I said, we're wor working on many new things and and, and projects for. Yeah. many new products so yeah, please so bear with be, us yeah there will be yeah sure this is um is a sign on the wall cut on the vision yeah sure i cut it actually <laughs> yeah it's it also using before. our colored yeah uh, color wooden panels yeah mm -hmm. i just use vision but we're gonna like if you guys buy more of the machines we're gonna upgrade this we're gonna you know yeah make some bling bling stuff mm -hmm. around uh well uh, i think they're in yeah, the uh, shipment delay. Yeah, we answered a question about that and we're still... But if you have any other more questions, like uh, if we didn't answer what we didn't see in our Q&A session, don't forget to uh, just send an email to our support at wecreate.com. Yeah. Yes. Alan is the uh, very professional uh, problem solver for you. <laughs> yeah, guys. Alan and also Becca and Patrick, they do a, they do a really good job answering questions. And uh, yeah, exactly. So for technical problems or software problems, please email support, uh, support at recreate.com. But if you have any software, hardware, you know, advice or, you know, suggestions, and even for project directions, you know, mm -hmm. always, you can always share it on our Facebook group. Yeah, the last few questions. Is the $150 uh, coupon code only goes with laser conveyor package or does it work for conveyor only package as well? As, we, as you said, we're going to, uh, We're gonna so double far, check that. Yeah, so yeah. far is only the conveyor package. Mm -hmm. But since you ask, we might asking about it. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's supposed to work with the bundle, with uh, the vision. Mm -hmm. But yes. yeah. Oh, I ordered the basic conveyor a week ago. Can I cancel that order so I can order the all-in-one kit? Yeah, sure. You can. You, you can, can email. You can email Alan. I mean. Alan loves to read your email, so send as many as possible before he kills me. Mm -hmm. My number one request is to have support for a MacBook trackpad, moving things around instead of having to use the hand tool. MacBook trackpad. Well, I use a MacBook, mm -hmm. and I know what a MacBook have support for. Trackpad, moving things around instead of. Uh, I I'm not actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I know what you mean. That you can swipe, swipe things around. Uh, we'll consider that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, oh, will there be a recap of the show I got in late? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes. I Once can. Once this live stream is done, you will see this um, the whole like from yeah. from start to to the you end. You can just get on uh, our official YouTube channel and then click on live. Click on live. Mm -hmm. I think it. I think it will take a couple of minutes or something, but mm -hmm. yeah, but any, you can review yeah, it. Any news on an update to use Lightburn? Uh, we already shared the compatibility with Lightburn, but if you want to see more, more features, like just leave your suggestions um, down below or in the chat box, or just uh, you know send email to our support, or just don't forget to join our Facebook group. You ask. And we try to fulfill your yes. needs. Yeah. So Jeffrey, Jeffrey, let me put it directly. I think you're asking on update to use Lightburn. And as of right now, you can already directly control Lightburn with Vision. Yes. As of right now, it was just uh, released or what, what should I say? Everybody's white, white listed uh, as of the start of this live stream. So all you have to do is do two things. One is to update or upgrade, upgrade Vision's firmware. 
And then the second one, you have to re-download the configuration file from our official website's um, software page. So it's recreate.com without the last year, without the last E. Um, and then you click on software. And then on the top, you'll see a banner that says uh, download configuration file. Mm -hmm. and then install that. Yes, and will there be uh, iPad software available soon? I think this will... Uh... I think it's already out. Already uh, out. Mm -hmm. But since our software development, you know, it's a small team. So we're always working on Windows version first. But I think most features will, will put it on the, uh, the mobile versions, but not all of them. Mm -hmm. And there are possibility of thicker material, thicker than 8 millimeters? Well, if we get a higher power machine... Well, that also depends on the material you use. You know, <laughs> yeah. For some materials, it's easy to cut like over 8, even for, a, like for vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how long does it take for the new product to arrive in Texas? So you'll be... New product, if you mean the conveyor, well, as you might know, um, shipping from China to the US is not very, very easy. It's not always, there's no guarantee because there's uh, shipping schedules and there's you know customs and all that stuff. So all, we, all I can say is that we'll start shipping around mid-May and it will take about a week or two. Yeah, to and get Chef to. Scott, I heard you, like, we'll be collecting all the questions and your suggestions and then we'll be uh, having feedback to our engineers, so we'll be working on that. And Lightburn, uh, Lightburn discount? I, I'm not sure, I, we don't have it right now. No, yeah. we don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's a lot of questions for today and yes. I think that's all for today's live stream. And so, if, yeah. if you have any, again, if you have suggestions, improvements, idea for projects, don't hesitate to leave mm -hmm. them in the chat box or in our yes. Facebook group. And uh, we'll be working on so many gorgeous projects and topics for you guys. So stay tuned on our live stream. Yeah, yeah. please share your beautiful projects. Mm -hmm. um, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share our live stream too to bring more people into our community. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's all for today's live stream. And I think we're gonna, we're like right after this, the surprises that we revealed uh -huh. today, mm -hmm. We're going to have even more surprises yeah. in the next one or two weeks. Oh, yeah. Okay? Okay. So stay right. tuned, guys. All right. And see you in our next live stream. Bye. Bye.